Okay, so good morning class. So this morning we will be discussing the engineer's transit. Okay, so basically this is an instrument which is very useful in surveying. It's highly utilized in surveying basically because of its uh, feature. Okay, so pwede siyang gamitin sa traverse, pwede siyang gamitin sa leveling, and then uh, and also other um, other surveying works okay so this one is uh transit or becoming obsolete ano pero of course uh in my case nagagamit pa namin siya okay so tag ma ma malaki pang tulong niya sa um surveying industry okay so nowadays kasi we are have, we now have our theodolite and of course your total station and then now you have GPS so, mas mapapadali ang pagsusurvey natin. Of course, basic principles of uh, surveying, especially in closed traverse and open traverse, came from this one. So, uh, let's uh, have a discussion on the uh, engineer's transit, of course. Okay, so we have here your basic parts. Okay, so you have here your lower plate. Okay, your lower plate natin and then you have your upper plate. So, lower plate, makikita natin dyan yung ating mga uh, dito, screws first you have here your uh, screws to make your uh, to adjust the level of your transit, ito mga to you have here 4, yan isa, dalawa, tatlo and then you have there sa little apat okay, so you have your screws, next you have here also your upper clamp this is the upper clamp and then you have here your lower clamp okay lower clamp now the upper clamp is used to lock the uh tag nito the the inner plate yung nasa loob okay and the uh and the main main base okay so basically kung titignan natin dito for example we have here kung i-unlock ko yung ating tan uh, upper clamp okay then yung ating uh, pwede natin igalaw yung ating furnier sa loob okay and then the uh, tag dito, the upper plate you can move the upper plate while the lower clamp is used to lock the uh, tag dito. ang ginagamit natin sa lower plate is para mailock yung itong lower plate na ito okay? para hindi siya gumalaw okay? and then kung, kung bubuksan natin yan magagalaw natin siya Okay, so that is your uh, lower plate. Ay, low, um, lower clamp rather. Lower clamp. Now, sa tabi ng lower clamp and saka upper clamp, meron tayong tinatawag na tangent screws. Okay, this is your tangent screw. And then you also have here a tangent screw for your upper clamp. Tangent screw. Okay, so ang gamit ng tangent screw is to make an incremental change in terms of uh, the movement. Okay? So, kung titignan natin siya, ilang okay, ayusin natin yung focus. Okay? So, if you try to turn this, okay? Oh, kung napapansin nyo, nagkakaroon ng incremental na paggalaw. Okay? So, that is to make incremental adjustment dun sa ating vernier. Okay? Now, how do you read this vernier? We'll discuss this later. Okay? Paano natin basahin yung mga readings dyan? Okay? Next is, of course, you have your spirit level. Okay? You have here two. Of course, um, on the horizontal axis, you have two uh, axis. You have your X and Y axis. So, kailangan mo siyang i-level. So, both axis to ensure that you are horizontally leveled. Okay? With respect to the horizon, of course. Next is, you have here, of course, your compass, which is oriented to the magnetic north. Okay, yung may copper doon, yun yung south And then yung walang copper wire, yun yung north Okay, so basically that is the orientation of the magnetic north Okay, next naman is you have here your telescope Okay, of course your telescope's function is to have a tag nito, closer view Of kung ano man ang tinitignan natin Mapa, mapa range pole man yan, mapa stadyarad man yan Or kuan or yung kapit bahay ninyo na maganda syempre anyhow okay so you have here your your uh, telescope ingay ng aso okay so you have here your telescope 
we're in, it can be rotated and tilted. Okay, so this one is a clamp used to lock. Okay, your telescope para hindi siya gumalaw. Okay, and then of course, since may lock siya, meron din tayong tangent screw for your uh, telescope. Okay, para magkaroon tayo ng incremental movement. So tangent screw ito for vertical movement. And then you have here your focusing screw focusing screw such that if you try to take a look at try natin sumilip if you try to take a look at the telescope yan oops oops so yan tapos iikot ko yung focusing screw mag adjust yung clear lin, clearness ng ating uh, tag ito image na nakikita dun sa ating telescope, okay? So, kung nakikita nyo rin sa loob, meron tayong crosshair. Crosshair are used to uh, get the uh, tag ito. Eh, elevations, upper reading, lower reading of your uh, tag ito. Stadia rad. Okay? Ayan. So, yung gitna ng, ng intersection ng crosshair, that is one of the most important intersections in that particular point. Okay? So, that is for telescope. Next is, you have here naman yung vertical vernier natin. Okay? So, this is used to uh, determine angle of elevations. Okay? Basically, angle of elevation kapag nakatingala yung ating telescope. Tapos, angle of depression kapag nakayuko yung ating telescope. Okay? So, if you try to take a look at this one, dito sa baba, meron tayo dito... Wait lang, I'm, I'm doing my, ano, yan. Zero and zero. If we, that is on zero, zero. Okay? Zero, zero. Then, adjust natin siya ng konti. Kung nakatapat si zero kay zero, then that would be horizontally leveled. Okay? Nakalevel yan horizontally. Now, um, if that one is, on this direction okay, let me unlock this one on this direction then you can start your or you can have your reading as the angle of depression okay from ito yung point na pagbabasahan natin okay so basically it is around um, 8 degrees or uh, yes 7 degrees or something like that and then you have here your vernier okay used to uh, measure or your yes measure your uh, degrees minutes and seconds okay so that one is well, next is uh the pa bang natin dito ito you have here your uh tag ito uh, level spirit bar na naka-attach sa ating um sa ating telescope okay so basically in this particular position if you're talking about traverse then it is on the back side back side okay back side position why when it is on this particular position it is on the four side uh, position okay and then next thing to know is when you try to uh, uh, have the next station to be uh, sighted your rotation will always should or should always be on a clockwise rotation okay clockwise rotation lang tayo wag kang babalik talaga kung halimbawang uh, tag dito kung halimbawang may na, may na miss ka iikot mo lang siya okay then yan sa mo i-sight okay yan so basically that is your uh, transit now this transit is attached to your tripod okay tapos okay na na Ayan, lock natin siya. Now, pag lock na yan, okay, kapag lock na siya, of course, you try to attach our plumb bob. Okay? Now, if you have here plumb bob, okay, you have here your plumb line. Okay, ang ibig sabihin nun, the station being occupied by the instrument, okay? The station being occupied by the instrument is being projected downward to the ground, okay? And then pointed by your 
uh, tag ito, your plumb bob. Ibig sabihin, yung tinuturo niya dun sa baba, diretso pa baba, yun yung pinaka station occupied natin. Okay? And then, the station which you will be <coughs> backsighting, okay? Is your backsight station and then yung station na na, na finoforesight mo is your station observed. Okay? So, that one is your gun. Next is we will be uh, learning how to orient the transit. Okay, orienting it to the magnetic north or orienting it to a known station. Okay? Okay. See you on the next vlog.